Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Sorrell, Lewis Johnson here. Let's see if I can get through this without crying. I just got done letting it go, but I gotta do this. Because the world will never know his name. Just a, another cancer patient. His name was Ralph. 65 years old. Got diagnosed with esophagus cancer in August. And uh, Rip Ralph. Cancer grew too big. First he was getting better. The cancer was too big to perform surgery to remove it. So they gave him chemotherapy treatments. He was in the same treatments as me. And um, the goal was to shrink the tumor. And after the chemotherapy treatments to remove the tumor. But unfortunately, right before his last chemotherapy treatment, the tumor grew bigger and it spread throughout his body to his liver. But that's not how I remember Ralph. I met Ralph. I saw him in early September. I was eating my sandwich during our chemotherapy treatments and I looked across his room and I saw this man staring at me while I was eating my sandwich and I was looking at him I was like, hey, is this, this guy with my sandwich or something or what, you know? And uh, back in my silly young years, I would have knocked someone out for that. But instead I smiled, he smiled. And a couple weeks later, I saw this guy, same guy, walking across the room slowly, but confidently. And he leaned over me and shook my hand and wished me a happy birthday. And that's how me and Ralph hit it off. Had the biggest smile and no matter what he was facing, smiled anyways in our chemotherapy treatments, him and I. And I'm sure other people hated us because they was always talking about negative talk and politics and stuff like everyday stuff. And Ralph and I shared an unbreakable bond and we'll always share an unbreakable journey together. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, so let me just go from the last update. Uh, just saw Ralph uh, last week, full of life. Able to talk, still with jaundice, able to do things on his own. Um, saw him a couple of days ago and uh, uh, all he wanted, all he could do was just sleep and they was slowly feeding medicine to him to keep his pain down. And um, fortunately I was able to uh, hold his hand and um, you know, tell him I love him one last time and uh, um, see a big smile on his face, which is what but originally what we share between us as men and cancer patients together. I uh, got to see that last smile from him. And today I just received news that uh, Ralph is uh, forever resting in peace. And, um, I just want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen out there, um, I posted earlier eight things that you should talk about before you die. And um, take a look at that and, and do it. It's not just before you die, it's something that we all should live by. And please, I plead to you, 
stop wasting life over what the hell is going on in the world with politics. What the hell is going on with, with uh, the movie stars in Hollywood. Okay? Um, start focusing on your life, your health, and things that bring your soul, your body, your mind, your life, peace. And I, at the same breath, I want to encourage you, if it does not bring you peace, be willing to walk away from it and turn your back from it, no matter what. And um, anyways, Ralph and I shared one of the most unbreakable bonds and will forever share them one of the most unbreakable bonds an unbreakable journey together. And um, one of the shortest friendships that I've ever had, but one of the realest, the realest that I've also ever had. And I'll take the realest relationship over any fake one, a million fake ones, any day in my life. And would much rather be alone than to be surrounded by fake people. Ralph was real. And um, I, 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 as I move towards my 12th and last supposed round of chemotherapy on Tuesday, next Monday, and it runs till next Wednesday, I know Ralph will be with me. We promised each other that we would finish our last chemo treatment together, and I know he'll be there. And not only will I be walking for him and myself, but I'll be walking for the millions of cancer patients out there who could never finish. Um, my mind is just all over the place right now. I just received the news and, and I'm just blown, blown away. Cancer. This life can be one of the most cruelest son of a freaking guns that you can ever experience. Cancer is one of the cruelest son of a bitches that you ever run across, man. But I saw Ralph beat this thing Bef on this earth before he left this world. He smiled. He remained true to his character. He tre he his spirit remained strong and he beat it. He beat that thing. He beat it. And I'm so thankful to have witnessed that until the end. And it's just another chapter I'll add into my life, my book um, of inspirations. And I have no choice but to continue to move on and to fight and to win and to smile and to remain true. I have no choice but to do that because after witnessing all the other people before me, how can I not do it? Um, being unbreakable doesn't mean that you can't cry. It doesn't mean that you don't allow yourself to feel and to be human. We're all human. And for God's sakes, we should but never dehumanize ourselves. We should allow ourselves to feel emotions in anything that life has to offer. But what it also unbreakable means, being unbreakable means is, is are you willing, despite the pain, to stay awake, to keep your eyes open, to remain aware and self-aware in the middle of your pain? and stand back up after life has kicked you down, not just once, but several, several times, several times. And wow, wow, Ralph and we, cancer warriors, have a certain percentage to live. Damn it, you better believe it, that that small percentage will be the best percentage we will have ever lived and will live. And something happens to you, you just 
as you move towards acceptance, you really start moving towards the person that you can become. No mask. No uh, different mask and things to, to, to mask your pain and stuff like that. Um, you become the person who you need to be and you see life through a different pair of eyes. And I just want to encourage all of you out there listening, don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait until you've uh, been diagnosed with something terminally ill or whatever. 